Hi guys, welcome back to Sister Forever, and today I'm going to show you how to use quizzes. But you must be wondering, what is quizzes? Quizzes is for free gamified quizzes for every subject to play in class and at home. You can pick an existing create, or you can create your own for review, for matter assessment, and more. Well, you in quizzes, you can engage everyone everywhere. You can, use, you can use quizzes for distance learning. Students will always see questions on their own screen. You can bring people together with live quizzes and polls, and you can assign and engage families on their own time. You can also browse a million quizzes for every subject. Now, I'm going to show you how to get to quizzes. So you go to, oh, you go to join my, Oh, you go to join my quizzes.com. Now, for quizzes, when you sign in for the first time, it's going to ask you, when you press sign in and you press sign in with Google or however you're signing in, it's going to ask you, how are you using quizzes? Now, uh, uh, today I'm going to show you how a quiz is going to work if you're uh, if you pick at a school. Now, once you pick at a school, it will ask you if you are a teacher or a student. If you pick um, if you pick I am a teacher, it's going to ask you to complete your account by asking your organization uh, organization name and how you are using quizzes. If you are a student, it's going to ask you your date of birth. And once uh, for teachers, once you are done at, um, once you are done updating your account for the first part, it will give you a drop down to add to add your organization one more. Now today, I'm going to show you how your page would look like if you are a teacher and how you can assess your students via quizzes game. And if one more thing, if you cannot find your organization, you go down here and you click on uh, you. If you cannot see your organization, please click add it or uh, not connected to a school. And once again, now I'm going to show you how to use quizzes if you are a teacher and how you can assist your students via quizzes game. Now, once you um, once you are on quizzes and once you are done signing in, your homepage should look like this but you're going to go to instructor dashboard and your page will look like this. Now over here, you can see it has like pre-made quizzes made by other people that you can assist your students with. And to create a quiz, you go to create and quiz. It's taking time loading. Now, when you, you have to name your quiz and you're going to choose a subject, I'm just going to choose mathematics to show an example. And you're going to pick, I'm just going to name it math. Now, one more thing, you have to name your quiz. Continue. Next. All right, so now once you are on uh, create a quiz, there is a multiple choice check, spot, check box, fill in the blank, pull open ended, and slide. And this is new. Now over here, I will also show your quiz quality score. So, um, how like what is the quality of your uh, of your quiz? So, and here you can make it public or private. Here you can pick the language, and here you can pick the default time for all questions. I'm going to make this private. You can add grades. You can I guess rename the uh you can well this is the subject, and you can import a spreadsheet from here. If you choose multiple choice, I'm just going to write a learning question. Now here, I'm just going to give answers. All right, you can also add one more uh, answer option. And here you can add a answer explanation to explain to your students what you mean. And here, tag options, you can add tags. And I guess this is a, the explanation. Now here, you can choose the time for how long your students have to answer the question. And this is an important part. 
this is an important part that you have to click on the correct answer to continue uh, so that when your students pick the answer it will mark uh, it will mark the correct answer or it'll tell the students it's the wrong answer now here also on the drop down you can choose if you want to change uh, what type of question it is if it's multiple choice checkbox from the blank open-ended or full and then you can also add a slide with you new now you press on save now you click on, if you want to continue editing your quiz another time, you press exit, but if you're completely done with your quiz, you click on done, and then you can, uh, you can add a title image, you can paste an image link, you can select your language. Now you also have to select the grade, and you can also choose here if it's public or private. Then you press save. All right, so now once you're done with your quiz, it's going to look like this. And it will now you if you want to if you are in class with your students you will select start a live quiz um, or you could choose assign homework but I'm going to show you how to sign a live quiz now you can do instructor pick your classic and click on classic you can pick your mode and you press continue after you're done clicking your mode and now you will tell your students to go uh, go to joinmyquizzes.com and you can send them the link or you can ask them to enter the code. And as your students start to join uh, in this area right here, it will tell you the participant's name and how many part and the number of participants. And once all your participants are in here, you can click on start. And now I hope this video was very informational for you and I hope you, this was a nice experience for you to learn how quizzes is how quizzes is used. And make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post another video. And in one of my future videos, I will show you how student view looks like.